It's here, the Oppo Find X6 Pro. I haven't been this excited to review a phone in a very long time. This phone not only packs all the high-end specs, it looks beautiful, charges insanely fast, and best of all, has one of the best cameras on a smartphone today. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Hi, I'm Michael Josh, your gadget matchmaker. And over the last decade, I've made it my job to show people around the world that tech can be easy, fun, and exciting. On this channel, I give you special access to the products I review, the events I attend, and all the exciting people I get to meet along the way. So if this is the kind of content that you enjoy, give this channel a like and subscribe, and I'll help you find the right gadget to match your needs. This is our Oppo Find X6 Pro review. Let's start with an unboxing. So excited. Standard black box. Love this metallic bit and how it almost glows over here. On the right side, there's a Hasselblad logo denoting its camera partnership. Okay, all we gotta do is pull on this tab. <laughs> it didn't come off, so let's rip the rest off. Great, now lift. First up, a welcome packet. What's in here? Spoiler, a case, a very nice one at that. And because I've already shown you what the phone looks like, well, yeah, it looks like this. Although for this model that I'm unboxing, I don't think I need one. There's some paperwork, all in Chinese, cause this isn't a global release. And a SIM card tray ejector. Next up is the phone, and if you can see under this wrapper, the case resembles the phone. We'll unwrap it later, but first, also in this box, a 10A USB-C to A cable and a 100 watt Super VOOC charger. I guess the time for dilly-dallying is over. Let's peel off this wrapper. This is such a beautiful phone and I fell in love with it when I first saw it or when it was shown to me a month ago, but this is my phone now and I can't wait to move into it and use it as my daily driver. I have so much more to say, but let's wait till the rest of this video. In the meantime, let's power it on and set it up. Android phones, at least the ones that do not fold, are a bit boring. And for someone who reviews many different phones each month, I'm always on the lookout for something that's pretty. Obviously, pretty is objective. Beauty, after all, is in the eyes of the beholder. But of all these phones I've reviewed recently, I think only the Pixel 7 Pro in Hazel is pretty. Everything else feels a bit one of the mill. Expect it. And sure, I understand some of that has to do with color, but I'm also looking for new shapes, new textures, some uniqueness. And that's why I love the design of the new Oppo Find X6 Pro. Well, at least this new faux leather model that is both silver and brown. The camera bump on this phone is huge, but that's acceptable considering how much it has to offer photography wise. Oppo has leaned in and designed this phone with classic cameras as an inspiration. If you're not as old as I am, take a look at some of these examples. A blast from the past. This faux leather back is giving, and the stainless steel bezel around the camera module is reminiscent of a camera ring. I would have loved a nether faux leather model with a black back and a space gray accent, but I'm also happy to have this model. It's definitely a head turner. The phone is built tough with an aluminum frame, Gorilla Glass Victus 2 up front, and an IP68 rating. I used this phone around San Francisco all week, and I just loved pulling it out of my pocket. Because of its faux leather back, I also didn't feel the need to use its bundled case. It was nice and grippy and never picked up any smudges. Before we continue, a brief message from this video's sponsor, the DBOT T10 Omni from Ecovacs. 
the Dbot T10 Omni is a robot vacuum that can do everything for that all-in-one hands-free cleaning with strong suction power and dual-sided brushes for those hard to reach areas like the corners of your living room. It's got the Osmo Turbo 2.0 rotating mop system, so the dual mop pads spin 180 times per minute, removing floor stains you would normally have to scrub by hand. When it's done vacuuming and mopping, it goes home to the Omni station, and this is what makes cleaning truly hands-free. It automatically empties the dustbin into a three liter bag that can hold up to 70 days of dust and debris. It also cleans the mop pads with a design that simulates hand washing. Finally, afterwards, it dries them up with hot air to prevent bacteria buildup. The Omni station has two water bins, one for clean water, which automatically refills the built-in water tank in the vacuum, and another for storing all that dirty water generated by washing the mop pads. Getting started is easy with the Ecovax Home app. And with True Mapping 2.0, direct time of flight sensors, and LiDAR technology, it can create a precise map of your space in minutes. That, combined with object avoidance and a front-facing camera, lets the Dbot T10 Omni intelligently clean around your furniture and other common household obstacles, instead of bumping into them. Lastly, it's got multiple cleaning modes that you can set depending on your floor type. If you're looking for an all-in-one hands-free cleaning, the Ecovax Dbot T10 Omni retails for $1,199. I'll put all the details in the description box below. To be considered a flagship, a phone needs to have it all. And on paper, the Find X6 Pro is a superstar. A high-res, vibrant AMOLED display with a dynamic refresh rate from 1 to 120 hertz. One that's also brighter than its competitors. It's powered by the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 from Qualcomm. It's got super fast RAM and storage, up to 16 gigabytes of DDR5X, and up to 512 gigabytes of UFS 4.0. It's got dual speakers, not the kind with one built into the earpiece, but actual speakers on both its top and bottom. A large battery with super fast wired and wireless charging, an under display fingerprint scanner that is fast and responsive, provisions for two nano SIM cards. It's even got that rare IR blaster up top. With all that being said, when it comes to performance and top of the line specs, most flagship phones these days are pretty much even. So in my book, camera performance is where winners are made. You know how smartphones these days have three cameras? Usually the main camera is really good, while the ultra wide and the telephoto cameras are not so good or not as good. Well, Oppo hopes to change that this year with the Find X6 Pro. They're saying this phone has three main cameras instead of one. And while that doesn't mean all three cameras have the same sensor and specs compared to its competitors, this camera phone's three cameras are better. All three main cameras, whether that be wide, ultra wide, or telephoto, are all 50 megapixel shooters. All have large sensors and all have wide apertures. Let's first take a look at the difference these three main cameras actually make. Let's start with the wide lens. It has a one inch sensor, the largest we've seen on a smartphone. One that's similar in size to what you'll find on fancy point and shoots like Sony's RX100. This should mean insanely creamy depth of field and much better low light performance. I'm not sure if you remember this, but when I interviewed my buddy David Kogan the Unlocker after the launch of the Galaxy S23 Ultra, we were talking about that phone's 200 megapixel sensor and the consensus between the two of us. I don't think 200 megapixels is important. I'd rather a bigger sensor. Now, here's what the sensor sizes on the wide cameras of the S23 Ultra, the Pixel 7 Pro, the Xiaomi 13 Pro, and the Find X6 Pro are like. Notice how much bigger the sensor on the Find X6 Pro is. Xiaomi also released a phone with a one inch sensor this year, but its aperture isn't as wide. 
Now let's take a look at some comparisons. Can you believe these photos were not taken using portrait mode? That's all natural bokeh and a testament to how far phone cameras have come. Now let's zoom in and take a look at how much softer the focus on my face on the Find X6 Pro's photo. That's definitely thanks to its larger sensor and wider aperture. Here's another photo of a bowl of truffle fries. Zoom in on the background, and you'll notice how much more light the Find X6 Pro let in, so much so that the color of the backdrop is preserved. On some photos, it almost looks just black. Second, let's take a look at the ultra-wide camera. Notice, compared to the others, its sensor is larger too. Now, while it does better in low light, my only complaint is that it's not as ultra-wide as I want it to be. Outdoors, during the day, all phones shoot excellent ultra-wide shots. However, you'll notice that while able to produce the more vibrant photos, its camera isn't as wide as the others which is a bit of a bummer. For example, in this shot, the reflections would have looked much more dramatic. In low light, Chai's ginger cocktail looked more color accurate in this photo. And if you zoom in on the bottles of liquor behind it, the bokeh is creamier thanks to the larger sensor of the Find X6 Pro. With a human subject, the ability of the Find X6 Pro's ultra wide angle camera to capture more detail in low light is even more obvious. While I love the color of the Galaxy S23 Ultra's photo, if you zoom in on my face, notice how much more detail versus mush is present. My dimples, the crack on my bottom lip, or if you pan down, the embroidered fox on my Maison Kitsune sweater is also clearer. Finally, and spoiler alert, this was my favorite camera on the Find X6 Pro, the telephoto camera. Again, its image sensor is much larger than anything currently on offer by its competition. It's worth pointing out that the Pixel 7 Pro offers 5X optical zoom, while Samsung's Galaxy S23 Ultra also offers a 10X optical zoom lens. To compensate for that, Oppo is offering 6X hybrid zoom, so we zoomed in a little bit further to 10X, and this is how it fared versus the Pixel and S23 Ultra. Let's start with a daytime shot. Consistent with the other two cameras, its tele lens also produces vibrant yet color accurate photos. I took this one to demonstrate the larger image sensor. Notice how much creamier the bokeh on the two boats in the background. This indoor shot of some flowers is the same. The flowers are tacked sharp, yet the background is nice and soft and dreamy. This one of the Bay Bridge could go either way, but there's less noise when you zoom in. Here's an excellent example. I love rows of lights. They make the best bokeh. Now look at the photo of the S23 Ultra. The lights are almost all in focus, but notice the Find X6 Pro's photo. Not only is it much more color accurate, the balls of bokeh are so delicious, like a halo above her. Here's another taken inside a very dimly lit lobby of our hotel. When zoomed out, it's not so obvious, but when you zoom in, look how sharp the photo. Excellent camera this 3X Tele on the Find X6 Pro is. Okay, now for some 10X comparisons. Here's a seagull in Fisherman's Wharf in 3X. Now let's zoom into 6X using Oppo's hybrid zoom feature and compare that to Samsung's 10X optical zoom lens. This shot was taken on a gloomy day with half of the Transamerica pyramid hidden behind clouds. Zoomed in 10X digitally, the Find X is able to hold its own versus the S23 Ultra, albeit with softer details. And one final shot taken from my hotel window. Obviously, the optical zoom lens of the S23 Ultra will produce a sharper image. If you zoom in on the text on the billboard, the text is fuzzy, and the only word I can make out is importante. Earlier this month, I went on a photo trip with Oppo to Malaga and Grenada in the south of Spain. Here are some samples I shot using the Find X6 Pro.
The Oppo Find X6 Pro can shoot up to 4K footage at 60 frames per second, but instead of me telling you, let me show you. Here's a little video diary of my trip to the south of Spain with Oppo. Montage. You're running late. They're holding back the group. Hey, we made it. I'm sorry. We did make it. Okay, sorry. So we've made it here to Caminito del Rey, and we're about to uh, go on an awesome photo walk to test out the Find X6 Pro. So we're testing out the dual video capture using both the front and the back cameras at the same time. What do you guys think? Okay, we're about to cross the bridge. Hola. Let's do this. Hola. Hola. Many unbearable hours later. Yes, so good. Pretend that you're enjoying it again. Oi mate, stop where you're at. So after taking a break for lunch, we found ourselves at the Mariposario de Benalmadena, which is a butterfly farm. There are tons of butterflies everywhere, which is a great opportunity for us to take a lot of photos, maybe some macros, maybe some telephoto, maybe some slow-mos. I can't wait to show you guys because it's pretty awesome. Day two. Day two in Malaga. We've made it to Alhambra. And I'm with the boys. What are we about to do? Eat more food. <laughs> as far as I know. <laughs> take, a, take a look at that tummy right there. <laughs> We're ready for more. More, 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 and more. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Soon after.
several song-filled hours later. Please, please, somebody put me out of my misery. You are in the limo. It's in Europe. It's actually customary to use any anyone you want. <laughs> Today was incredible. From that walk through the palace grounds to an actual flamenco show to this awesome sunset. It's been an incredible last few days with Oppo. Personally, I loved filming with the Find X6 Pro. I particularly loved the 3X zoom lens, even for video. And normally when I'm using another phone, I will hesitate to use the zoom lens when shooting video unless I'm in a bind. But because of how large this phone sensor is, the quality of my shots were coming out really great. So I tend to use it uh, quite frequently, actually. My only complaint as a content creator is that it doesn't allow me to shoot 4K video using the selfie camera, that would have made this phone the killer phone for video. Selfie video on this phone is capped at 1080p, 30 frames per second. Here's another sample of what the video quality is like using the selfie camera on the Find X6 Pro. Obviously, if you're watching on a mobile phone, you'll need to switch to 4K to be able to tell the difference. But if you're watching on a big screen like a TV, then this shouldn't look as good as the rest of this video. Let me know if this is enough for you or if you want more. Sound off below. Speaking of selfies, here are some selfie samples I shot using the Find X6 Pro. The Oppo Find X6 Pro is packed with a 5,000 mAh battery with support for SuperVOOC charging. It ships with a 100 watt SuperVOOC charger and a 10A USB-A to C cable. Oppo promises a 45% charge in 10 minutes and a full charge in 30. So you know what that means. It's time for a charge test. I'm here in the US, so I used a 110 volt socket, no transformer this time. I plugged it in at 10.30 AM. 10 minutes later, the phone was already at 41%, almost as quick as promised. 20 minutes in, we were already at 79%, and a full charge took 30 minutes, just as promised. Good job, Oppo. Now, 30 minutes for a full charge seems to be the new gold standard when it comes to super fast charging smartphones. We've seen that from the likes of Realme, Vivo, Xiaomi, and OnePlus. But you won't find it on more popular phone brands. Samsung maxes out at 45 watts, while Google and Apple max out at about 30 watts. The Find X6 Pro also supports 50 watt AirVOOC charging, which is their wireless charging tech. With a compatible AirVOOC charger, you'll get a 50% charge in 22 minutes and a full charge in 51 minutes. There's also reverse wireless charging for charging something like wireless earbuds. So is the Oppo Find X6 Pro your gadget match. After I was briefed on the Find X6 Pro a month ago, I was super excited to review it. Why? Because on paper, it looked like it could potentially be the best Android smartphone today. And after having used it for a week, I'm pretty convinced it is. From its excellent design, top-notch cameras, to its super fast charging, this is an Android phone I'd happily use as my daily driver. My only two wish list items is that it had a wider ultra wide angle camera and support for 4K selfie video. But now here comes the bad news. This phone is only available 
in China. The launch took place today in Beijing. The phone starts at just under 6,000 renminbi, which converts to about 900 US. This top of the line model with 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage is just under 7,000 yuan, which is just over 1,000 US dollars. That would be a killer price for everything that this phone offers. Oppo hasn't yet said if the Find X6 Pro is set for global release, but if I were you, I'd spam them on social media, telling them, I want this phone. Give me this phone. And while you're at it, tell them Gadget Match sent you. And that was our Oppo Find X6 Pro review. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, you know the drill, folks. Subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we post new videos. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff. And for news and updates, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.